Well, the primaries are over, and there were a few surprises. The Trump-endorsed candidate, Leora Levy, won the Republican primary and will now face Senator Richard Blumenthal in November. Demis Claritus, the endorsed candidate, simply didn't get enough votes. Chief political reporter Susan Raff joins us now live at the state capitol with more on what people are saying. Good afternoon, Susan. Good afternoon. The race for U.S. Senate has certainly been a hot one, and I think it's going to get even hotter as we move toward November's election. You know, there were many who thought that the race was going to be tighter, but in the end, Leora Levy pulled it off last night. The Greenwich businesswoman has raised over a million dollars, and she's also uh, been endorsed by Trump. In fact, the endorsement came just last week. As for Themis Claritus, she has been in the legislature, she was, for over 20 years, and she does have a lot of name recognition, but in the end, it really came down to voter turnout. In fact, the Secretary of the State's office told us just a few minutes ago that only 14 percent of Democrats showed up in the primary and about 24 percent of Republicans. And most of the Republicans, a clear majority, supported Leora Levy. Now this morning, Governor Lamont, who is also running for re-election, talked about the fallout and said one thing from the primary is abundantly clear. Our Republican opponents like to say that uh, Donald Trump is not on the ballot this November, but I think somebody forgot to tell uh, Donald Trump that. He's front and center on the ballot. I think you heard that from Leora Levy last night. Donald Trump is not on the, on the ballot in November, but Joe Biden is. Levy waged a very aggressive campaign. She is anti-abortion and is also pro-Second Amendment. But Democrats are celebrating a little bit today with some wins last night in the primary. Stephanie Thomas has now gone on. She is the endorsed candidate for Secretary of the State. She won the primary along with Eric Russell for state treasurer. And coming up later on Eyewitness News throughout the day, you'll hear why Democrats are now desperately searching not just for unaffiliated voters, but also moderate Republicans. We are live at the state capitol, Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Susan. And we are